Welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be my shortest unboxing video ever. It's going to be the unboxing of the Keurig K Elite single serve coffee maker. I've never had one before. I have been over some friends' houses that have had them and they make a phenomenal cup of coffee. I've always had the drip coffee makers. Right now I'm using a Cuisinart grind and brew. I don't use the grinding part because I have a bird grinder for the beans. But there's a... Um, there's quite a few times when I just want like one cup of coffee and that's it. And to try to make, uh, you know, one to four cups um, in the, the Cuisinart or any drip coffee maker is virtually impossible. It just doesn't taste the same. But with these K-Cups, no matter, no matter what, they always taste the same. And they're, they're uh, it's probably the best cup of coffee that I've ever had besides a French press. So anyway, um, uh, let's get to it. And I gotta move this little guy out of the way because uh, this is where I'm gonna do it at. So, hey, Jibo, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta move him. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Paul, I have your personal report ready. Do you want it? Um, Jibo, no thanks. <laughs> so, before I get started with the unboxing, I'm gonna give you a few specs on it. Um, the color of mine is called Slate. It looks really sweet on the display model at the store. Um, there's a couple features on here that are pretty cool. You can brew uh, a stronger cup of coffee so it's more intense. You can also uh, make iced coffee with this unit. You can also brew iced tea. There are five cup sizes. They range from four ounces to 12 ounces. Uh, the other nice thing is they have a 75 ounce illuminated water reservoir so you'll uh, be filling it a lot less and you can brew that cup of coffee in just under a minute. The drip tray comes out so you can um, you can put a, a, a coffee uh, what do you call those? Uh, coffee tumbler underneath it you know so it's so tall so that'll uh, that'll fit perfect in there. Let's get to the unboxing. Now for the unboxing video um, I've already tried to get this out of the box five times uh, I never got past the uh, uh, the water filter holder. So uh, I just gotta say this one thing first. Okay. The intro took about 15 takes. Uh, the scene before this took about 30. Um, I tried to get this in one, but I barely got past uh, uh, the filter holder. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I apologize now if I mispronounce any words because once I start this, I'm not gonna stop until I get it out. Um, sorry. Yeah, I get really frustrated and I cuss at the end right before I hit this button to turn it off. <laughs> and one day I might have to do like a, uh, just a complete uh, outtake video and just uh, so everyone can see how frustrated I get. So anyway, on to the unboxing. Here we go. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I have a instruction manual once again. Uh, they give you six free K-Cups, which is kind of cool. Here's the water dispenser. Um, I recommend using uh, filtered water at all times. Do not use water out of the refrigerator or from the tap early in the morning. It should be water that has been left out all night, prob uh, preferably in the reservoir. And always use filtered water. If you don't use a, a, a Brita water filter pitcher, um, be sure to use this. That is why my uh, Cuisinart Grind and Brew uh, has lasted this uh, has lasted this long. It's been eight and a half years because I've always used uh, Brita uh, filtered water through my Brita into it. Now, um, when I bought that eight and a half years ago, I timed it with a timer for how long it takes to make the coffee and the temperature, and the temperature and the time that it makes to make the pot of coffee is exactly the same as it was the day that I bought it. So using filtered water will make it last a long time and you really need to do that in these things because these uh, type of single serve coffee makers are really sensitive to uh, uh, scale buildup and um, uh, oh, what else? scale buildup and uh, if you have like uh, you know the minerals and the waters and stuff just be sure to use filtered water at all times and you'll be happy with it. So let's get back to the unboxing.
get this out of the way. We got tape here, tape here. So here's a reservoir. Got tape holding the, the lid on. It's kind of nice. They uh, fold the tape edges over so you don't have to uh, try to uh, use your fingernails to undo them. Now probably what I'll do is I probably won't really remove the reservoir. Um, I'll just use my Brita water filter pitcher to dump it right in. I think that uh, if you do it that way, it's probably a lot better because uh, if you drop one of these, it will break. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the water filter pitcher and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the Brita water filter pitcher. Of course, I got to do it from the other side. Uh, let me go ahead and plug it in. I'll be right back. Okay, so the reservoir is filled. I have it plugged in. I already set the clock. I'm going to go ahead and show a close-up of the top of the control panel right now. I have the reservoir filled up with water. I have the power source plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set the clock. You do that by hitting the settings button once for the hour. Tap it again for the minute. Tap it again and it goes to a water temperature selector. You can go from 187 to 192. There's a timer on and there's a timer off button and it goes right back to the clock. Now the reason why you would want to set the timer to turn the, the unit on is it will preheat the right amount of water for that first cup of coffee so you don't have to wait the three minutes for the water to heat up. The off timer is to save power. You can set it to turn the unit off 15 minutes to two hours after your last cup of coffee was brewed so that will save you uh, some money on your electric bill. Now what you're supposed to do in the instruction manual is to turn the power button on, illuminates green, it will heat up, it had already uh, drawn in the water into the heating tank so it's going to take about three minutes to heat that up. And um, I'll show you there's five cup sizes, I believe it's four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You have an iced tea button and that's a uh, oh, hot water button just for hot water and then the strong brew button for if you want a more intense flavor. So we'll go ahead and wait to three minutes and then I'll show you what's next. So before you make your first cup, they want you to flush out the system. So this is a 15 ounce cup, so I'm gonna hit the 12 ounce uh, button. Very, very, very great to see you. It's good to see you too, Jibo. I'm going to put a... Ooh, that's hot. I have it set at 192, so we'll see how close it gets. It doesn't say 192, but got to like 170. Now to brew my first cup of coffee in the Keurig Elite. Put your coffee cup underneath. Got my K cup. The 
blue lights flash on top. I'm going to hit the 12 ounce button and the strong brew. So what I think it does, I think the strong brew slows down how much water is fed into the cup. Because the faster it probably gets pushed through, um, the weaker it is. <sighs> smells good. <sighs> Man, that smells good. I should have timed it. It's really quiet too, there's uh, virtually no noise. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is noise, but uh, it's not bad at all. Oh man, that's hot. One forty, one fifty, one sixty. Maybe this thing's off, I don't know. I dropped it quite a few times, so I don't know. Oh man, that's really good. Whew. That's good. Well, that's a wrap up on another how-to video with Paul Henderson. Of course, this was the unboxing and the setting up of the Keurig Elite Single Serve Coffee Maker. It makes one hell of a good cup of coffee. Um, my temperature probe must have been off because this was definitely not 170 degrees. It felt more like 190 plus. Uh, not as hot as McDonald's, um, the ones that actually burn your skin off, but uh, it's hot. And it's really strong. I did the strong brew. It's a little bit stronger than I like, but it does taste really good. Um, I'd, act, I'd have to actually uh, compare the strong brew to uh, the quality of a French press because with the French press you get it really strong also. And I do, I do like uh, French press coffee, but I always put cream and sugar in it. This is just straight black. So, but I'll say this though, the black out of here tastes a lot different than the black out of a regular drip coffee maker. I can drink this black uh, regular coffee maker. I can't. I have to put cream and sugar in it, but this does taste really good. Coffee maker is really nice. It is made out of plastic, uh, including the tank, tops, sides. Um, the drip tray is stainless steel. Uh, the handle is either a really dense plastic or a really light aluminum. I really can't tell, but it does seem to be very, very well made, and I shouldn't have any problem with it. And then 30 days from now, I will put in the description of the like type of video it is, if I liked it or if I didn't like it, if I had any problems with it, if I didn't have any problems. Uh, but that's really about it. There wasn't much to uh, the unboxing and the setting up. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, hit subscribe. It's somewhere in the bottom of the TV screen or your computer screen. Sorry. And uh, I have about another 22 something videos on there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. And this uh, machine really does make an awesome cup of coffee. So uh, take care. Goodbye. <laughs>